Hello booktube. Um, this is the shelf tour of the fourth bookcase, the big wall bookcase, the fifth shelf, which is the final shelf in that bookcase, and the sixth part. So we're going to continue on with the biographer we saw in the last section, and that's Catherine Drinker Bowen, and there's a pencil drawing of her. I believe it's a pencil drawing. Um, and this is her biography of Francis Bank Bacon, The Temper of the Man. And this is uh, an Atlantic Monthly Press book, Little Brown and Company, Boston. And this book came out in 1963. And I've always enjoyed her narrative style. Um, enjoy her biographies very much. Come on. Cat wants to tear up the couch. So, um, Francis Bacon, The Temper of a Man. And then we move on to a battle history. David Howarth, Waterloo, A Day of Battle, which some of you saw in a book haul I did. Take the dust jacket here a little bit and show you the end papers. Okay, this is Athenaeum, New York, 1968. Nicely illustrated volume. This is exactly what it says it is. It's a story of the day of the battle. Volume on Waterloo I don't have that I need to find, actually, is Bernard Cornwall, the guy who did the... Uh, the author who did the Richard Sharp Napoleonic War novels they also did a nonfiction book on Waterloo. This ranked in one of my uh, tag videos as the most boring book I own, and I have no idea why I'm keeping it. And I'm probably not going to. And it's unfair to the author. It, it, this this book is meant to be what it is, and it's probably wonderful. It's just not for me. Modernity, Britain. 1957-1962 by David Kiniston, uh, Bloomsbury, New York, London, and uh, first U.S. edition, 2014. Not for me. No. Moving along somewhere. And now World War Two volume, uh, World War One volume. Excuse me. Peter Hart's The Psalm, The Darkest Hour on the Western Front. Try to put it in this correct war. Uh, this was uh, this was a good volume. I did good history. I enjoyed this. Um, Pe uh, Pegasus Books, New York, uh, ago. Barbara Tuckman, The Zimmerman Telegram. Macmillan Publishing Company, New York, 1958-1966. Uh, yeah, I can't, re I'm not going to look for the name of the general, but I was actually um, involved in the discovery, well I wasn't involved in the discovery, but I was involved in the recording and digitizing of the general's photographs and letters that were discovered a few years ago by a German officer. I can't remember his name. It's an odd thing, huh? Reader's Digest Illustrated Story of World War II. Uh, so it's an overview. These things used to be very popular. This was from 1969. Uh, and there you go. So this 
So this is somewhat dated, popular, popular volume. Um, this one here, uh, Clay Blair, Hitler's U-Boat War, big old bruiser of a thing. Um, the Hunters, 1939-1942. Came out in 96, so if you're into all the U-boat stuff, which I happen to enjoy reading about, I don't know if I enjoy being on a U-boat. Big old detailed history. And then finally, Half a Wing, Three Engines and a Prayer by Brian uh, D. O'Neill, B-17 over Germany. It's a special revised edition, an Aviation Week book. Uh, let's see, McGraw Hill, New York. And this one came out in 1999. So that does it on um, this, the sixth part of the fifth shelf of the big wall. Number four bookcase. Thank you, Bookton.